It's finally here folks, the Akaya orbit has landed on the side of our planet after much anticipation. This is Akaya's first ever coffee grinder. The orbit. A home grinder that looks sleek, minimal, but is also equipped with a ton of features. Hi guys, my name is Fujun and in today's video, I'll be diving into the Akaya orbit, covering the overview, features, performance, and also to give you my final thoughts of the grinder at the end of this video. When you think about Akaya, you would think about their precision skills such as the popular Luna and Pearl. Akaya has been known to design some of the most aesthetically pleasing products with great attention to detail. The Orbit was designed in partnership with the esteemed Weber Workshop, the company responsible for creating the EG1, the Key and also the HG2. That's why the EG1 and the Orbit share some similarities in terms of design. Both companies also have a history of working together for the Bean Counter. Clearly, this is not Akaya's first rodeo in the coffee grinder scene. Firstly, the design of the Orbit that looks like a microscope has become popular over the years, as the inclination ensures minimum retention. The material is made of anodized aluminum, just like their scales, to enhance aesthetic qualities, resist scratching and also gives off a more durable surface finish. It comes with a premium price tag, so of course one would expect premium materials used as well. The footprint is also smaller in comparison to other single-dose coffee grinders, so it should fit really nicely beneath any kitchen cabinets. It's 39.4 cm in height, 10.8 cm in width, 26 cm for length, and it only weighs 5.6 kilos. The Orbit is ready to take on any of your coffee brewing needs with its 64 mm Mazda 33 M burrs, upgradable to a set of SSP burrs. The grind speed is adjustable from 600 rpm to 1500 rpm, a feature that allows coffee geeks to play around with the profiles for different results. Adjusting the grind size is very seamless as it is stepless and the D10 ring also includes a handy reference guide. There is no fork to place your porter filter but it comes with a magnetic catch cup that centers automatically. The catch cup is of course compatible with any 58mm porter filter making it very easy to transfer your coffee grounds to the porter filter. There is a single button at the front which is interchangeable colors to indicate the status of the grinder or performing an action. The integration with the lunar scale is what sets the Orbit apart from other coffee grinder. Once connected, the Orbit can be fully customized by adjusting button actions, RPM profiles, and other settings. You can also grind the precise amount of coffee you need for each brew with the grind by weight feature although it would make more sense to have a larger hopper for this. As for the retention, the hopper on the Orbit does not come with the bellow attachment to blow out any leftovers in the chute. However, that is where the auto perch comes in. For each grind, the burrs will perform a reverse fast spin, then a forward spin to reduce retention. This feature can only be found in high-end grinders of course. And if you're not satisfied with the auto perch, there is a good knocker right behind the chute for that peace of mind. Being an all-purpose grinder, the Orbit is capable of grinding from as fine as espresso and as coarse as cold brew. There is still a little bit of retention with the Orbit, but it is very minimal. I find that by using an RDT, can further minimize retention apart from the auto perch and the knocker. And to avoid the grounds from flying around, attaching the spout extender can help to keep your countertop mess free. The Mazda Burst produce good clarity flavors without sacrificing structure of the espresso. From light to dark rose, the Mazda is more than capable. However, if you find yourself grinding more for filter, you might want to consider upgrading to the multi-purpose SSP Burst. The ability to adjust the RPM gives a new dimension to your coffee calibration.
Higher RPM usually results in more fines, hence slower shot times, but it produces a more complex cup. However, if you take short time into account, then lowering your RPM produces higher extractions with lesser fines, resulting in higher clarity in your cup. There's a lot more that can be done with the app, so make sure to check out Akai's YouTube channel for an in-depth tutorial on how to pair your orbit with the Akaya Luna app. The orbit is simply outstanding, with a simple yet beautiful modern look, making it one of the most attractive grinders available in the market right now. It is incredibly enjoyable thanks to the RPM profiling and its smart integration with the Akaya Luna scale. It's a grinder for individuals who are willing to make a significant investment in their coffee setup. Without a doubt, it excels as an all-round grinder, delivering flawless performance for both filter coffee and espresso brewing method. The closest grinder to the Orbit would probably be the Option O Lagon P64. Both are excellent grinders, but if you prefer something smaller with a little bit more features, then the Orbit is for you. And the Orbit is ready for takeoff. For those interested in purchasing the Orbit, you can find the link in the description below or simply visit our showroom. If you have any questions regarding the Orbit, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.